I'm Dr. Megan Samaraki, a member of the Learning Scientist team. And we use science to figure out the best ways for students to learn. Essentially, we come up with flexible guiding principles or rules of thumb to help you study well and without spending too much time. Efficiency is really important. The study strategy that we are going to talk about in this video is called interleaving. So imagine for a minute that you're going to spend an hour after school studying. Instead of studying one topic for the entire hour, instead interleaving involves switching between topics. So studying a little bit of topic A and then topic B and then topic C. Basically, you're mixing up your studying or mixing up practice, or you might think of it as jumbling it up so that you're studying a lot of different things and you're able to switch back and forth. And then if you're going to study each night after school, you might switch the order. So sometimes you might study A, then B, then C. Sometimes you might study C, then B, then A and then the next time A, C, B, and so on. So the idea is that you're switching between topics, but you're not always going over the topics in the exact same order. You're mixing them up so that different types of problems or different concepts are coming next to one another. When you do this, when you mix it all up, it helps you see the connections between different ideas. And seeing the connections can help you understand how they might be similar and also how they are different. And if we're talking about problem solving, like solving math problems, it helps you learn not just how to solve each type of problem, but when to use each type of formula or each procedure. Imagine you have a bunch of homework problems to do, a bunch of math problems. A lot of times these are given in a blocked way. So you might do all of the addition problems and then all of the subtraction and then all of the multiplication as an example. If we were doing interleaving, we would mix all of this up so that the problems were in all different orders. And sometimes you would be adding, then subtracting, then multiplying, then adding, then multiplying, switching back and forth. While you're actually doing the problems, while you're studying this way and practicing this way, it actually can feel really difficult. You might not earn 100% on all of the problems. You might make some mistakes. But in the long run, this leads to much better grades. You learn more when you mix it up. And ultimately, when you take a test or when you have to use the information in the real world, it is all going to be mixed up. You don't get to block the types of problems that you do. So remember that while blocking, studying one thing over and over again before switching to the next thing might feel easy, and interleaving and mixing everything up might feel really challenging, the challenging strategy is the one that leads to the most learning in the long run.